Nogi Uchimata, so the grips are going to be different. I think it's important that if you really want to learn how to defend an Uchimata and how to perform an Uchimata, that you do it with the Gi, traditional Judo style, standing up straight. Okay, that way you learn all the fundamentals of the technique. You learn where your hips need to go. You learn where their hips and grips are going to go when they're trying to do it to you. If you just try to start doing it like no gi only, then the distance is different. I'm here in the gi, whereas in no gi, I'm a lot closer. Okay, things are a lot different here. So I think it's always better to step inside that realm to learn it before you try to translate it to your own thing. Same for wrestling. Don't think you're doing wrestling for jiu-jitsu. Learn wrestling to learn wrestling, and then try to translate it to your jiu-jitsu and kind of see what works. Um, I, I think you can fall into a lot of problems by doing judo and wrestling like just for jiu-jitsu. I think you can uh, make a lot of mistakes like that, and uh, you take away from the effectiveness of it, and uh, for defense as well. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about some grips. If we're in our stance, you can come over and hit full side uchimata here. Now the problem is if I'm over here is she has an underhook when we hit the ground, okay? But that is an option, especially if she's got double underhooks and she's like trying to lift me up. She's trying to suck me up here, so she's pushing into me. I could turn and hit my uchimata in a defensive fashion, okay? That would kind of be your last resort. You know she's gonna she's gonna get you, she's gonna get her hands locked. So we turn and hit that Uchimata throw. You could throw Harai or Hani or anything from there as well. So um, the underhook in Nogi, I don't think is a very good option either because if this person's pretty savvy, when I step in to hit this, all she has to do is limp arm and she's gonna be gone. I'm giving my back, okay? So probably the best bet is from a, an overhook in Nogi. And what I like to do to really get someone to push into me is if they get the underhook, one, I always want my head position. That way she's always trying to battle her, her head back into position, and that's what she's thinking. Okay? Also, when someone gets an underhook, they're trying to push their hips in. She's trying to step her hips into me here. And so I don't want that. So what I do is I put the back of my hand towards the belly button and I keep her away from me, okay? It's gonna be very difficult for her to do any kind of takedowns on me right now. I took a lot of her techniques away. So she gets an underhook. I want my head position. We're fighting in here. I'm gonna step in and instead of throwing this big uchimata here, all I'm gonna do is put my foot on the ground and I'm gonna use my hamstring to hit her leg. Because all I'm trying to do is get her weight on that opposite leg. So we're in here. I'm going to step. I'm going to hit that leg hard. I'm going to come across with Kochi. And you can use a hand assist if you like. But I'm just going to trap the outside of her foot, block, and drive her over. So that would be my overhook to Uchimata, to Kochi, or ankle pick. 